So uh, what do you think is going to happen with Idol this year? Do you think that it's jumped the shark? Do you think that it's time to retire the show and maybe move on to something else like uh, the X Factor? I think what they're doing with the whole shakeup with the judges uh, is is a smart thing. Uh, not that... Not that I'm, I'm happy to see Simon go or even Paula or Kara, um, but I think for the sake of the show and it and it uh, and it keeping its you know uh, dare I say sexiness, I think that uh, they are gonna they needed to shake some things up and I I think that's what they needed to do. So we'll see what happens. When do they start uh, preening you? Uh, because I mean you're you're a guy you came from a, a household that didn't watch TV so you make the cut you're in the top thirty whatever when do they like get you somebody to work with you on your image when does that start? Um, you know they try not to to do too much to you because they want it to be real and they want it to you know be all that but uh, they do have people that help you answer questions and and uh, they take you through a you know. A, uh, like press, you know, junket thing, and and it's and they even have people that, you know, uh, like stylists and all that. So, so they teach you how not to say stupid things, basically. Exactly. To people like us, to be rude. Yeah. They teach you to, you know, be very PC. And uh, can, yeah, I mean, can, can we wrong with that. Can, can we sit down and have a lesson uh, with you on how not to be PC? Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You've got people like Lady Gaga now that are uh, speaking out against the immigration law in Arizona. What do you think about that? Do you think she needs to keep her mouth shut? I think that there's certain things that a lot of people should keep their mouth shut about. If they really care care about stuff, um, that's that's a whole different thing. Um, yeah. But but maybe she maybe she knows a lot about it. So well, she cares about wrong it. With her having her opinion, she cares about it, but she won't cancel any of her shows in Arizona. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. So, uh, so what's the future looking like for you, Chris? You're, you're touring now, obviously. How many dates are you doing on this tour? Uh, we've been out since the end of May, so we've been out forever, um, and we have uh, we have some more dates with Keith Urban and and, uh, and we have the Bare Naked Lady stuff and Maroon Five, and so we're we're happy about that. We're that that'll end around September fifth, and then I think we're going to go back out, out in the fall um, with. Okay. We're going to go back. and We have some plans for the fall, so uh, we're excited about that. What's it like backstage at a country show? At a country show? Yeah, as opposed to like a rock show or a pop show. Gotcha. They're actually very, I, I don't know. I mean, if anybody's country, you know, Keith Urban is on the on the line of country because he puts on a rock show. Yeah, well, and he's Australian too, isn't he? Yeah, and he's he rocks it out. It's pretty incredible, actually. Huh, uh, but... Uh, you know, there's probably no weed smoke backstage, is there? No. Not See, that I'm, that's the pop shows. Really. Uh, what about Willie Nelson shows? Come on. You uh, know that there's weed smoke back Chris, there. have you played well, with yeah, Willie Nelson? Yeah, Willie Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Farm ate himself. I haven't played with him, though. Uh, you want to, though, don't you? Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> just Who kidding. have you played with that has really just been terrible? Like, who's a terrible human being in the music business? I have, like, I, you know what? I thought it was going to be... I thought it was going to be that way with some people, and I, it hasn't. It just hasn't been. And so, uh, and there's I, that I mean, PC. everybody's been great. The Bare Naked Ladies guys are incredible. Chris Autry's a really nice guy. Keith Urban's one of the nicest. I've just I've been hooked up with the with the best people, I guess. Do you guys keep in touch, you Idol alums? Like, do you guys have each other's phone numbers and you know call up and hang out with each other and stuff? Or I mean, it's not it's not a whole lot, but yeah, I, I'll see them every once in a while. I played a show in L.A. a couple. I guess it was a couple of weeks ago now, and uh, and David Cook came out. So, yeah, I think we try to keep in touch, and I think those people know exactly what you know I've been through, and I know what they've been through. So, we know a lot of the same people. So it kind of you know we have a, we have a special bond, I would say. Well, Chris, I know our time with you is short today. Uh, just one last question: uh, uh, Have you looked into getting a uh, spike-studded cod piece like Adam Lambert? You know what? I saw that, and uh, you know what? I just don't know if it would look right on me. Hmm, maybe really you don't. Maybe you can work it into your whole <laughs> fall unveiling <laughs> of new work. <laughs> Yeah, we'll yes, see what happens. I you like know? that. Yes. Maybe we'll put it in the show somehow. Oh, dedicated to Luca. Yeah, please. Yeah. We'll do. There you can put a big D right there in the middle of the cod mm -hmm. piece. In, in the spice. crease. We'll do. In the crease of the piece. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for spending time with us today. We love your work, yeah. and uh, we'll be coming to see you at uh, Nautica in Cleveland, August the 11th, all right? Sounds good, man. Thank Let's you see. so much.